Chapter 109, New Ripples Seeing Yi Zhushang vomit blood, Su Fengxin's anxious expression changed dramatically. She hurriedly supported him and asked worriedly, Ah Ju, what's wrong? After spitting out blood, Yi Zhushang took a few deep breaths to calm the chaotic aura in his body. Once he recovered, he forced himself to say, it's just the backlash of the draconic lotus. It'll be fine after sleeping. What backlash of the draconic lotus? Su Fengxin was confused. She wanted to check Yi Zhushang's pulse, but right then, the interior of the mountain swayed even more violently. Large cracks had started appearing on the mountain walls, and a large-scale collapse could happen at any moment. Let's talk after we get out of here. Let's go. Yi Zhushang made a prompt decision. The moment the interior of the mountain collapsed, he brought Zhu Fengxin along and used a powerful force to break through the seal at the top of the mountain and fly out. Rushing out of the mountain, they were still mid-air when the sound of a huge rock collapsing sounded from behind them. Rumble. Su Fengxin was being hugged tightly by Yi Zhushang. That gentle and safe embrace made her dead heart ripple again. Ever since Zhang Donge and Pei Zhangyang, her lover and close friend, betrayed her, she had sealed her heart in ice. She thought that she would no longer be attracted to any man, at least not for a short period of time. Unexpectedly, in less than a month, she had actually fallen for a man. Was this feeling good or bad? While Zhu Fengxin was conflicted about her feelings, Yi Zhusheng had already brought her down from the mountaintop and landed safely. The little white tiger had been nestled in Zhu Fengxin's arms, so it was brought out together. Outside, the little white tiger seemed to be especially excited. It jumped out of Zhu Fengxin's embrace and bounced around 10 feet away. Zhu Fengxin did not have the mood to care about it. After landing, she immediately checked Yi Zhusheng's pulse and his physical condition. When she sensed the severity of the injury, her brows furrowed tightly. Why is the spirit energy in your body so chaotic? It will cause harm to you. If you don't stabilize it, you will be killed by your own spirit energy. Yi Zhusheng looked at Su Fengxin in shock and said with a hint of disbelief, so my little Ziner's medical skills are actually so superb. He knew that Su Fengxin had read quite a few medical books recently. However, just by reading a few medical books, her skill should not be enough to detect the anomaly in his body. Only someone who had practiced medicine for many years and had excellent medical skills could do such a thing. Actually, upon careful thought, he should have known that her medical skills were impressive. If not, how could she have saved Gu Jinyuan from the Heavenly Treasure Trading Company? Where did she learn her medical skills from? It seemed that his little Ziner had quite a few secrets. You're already on the verge of death, yet you can still laugh? Su Fengxin rolled her eyes at Yi Zhushang. She took out her silver needles and cast the Yang needle art. In the Yin Yang Nine needles art to stabilize him, but the effects did not seem to be very obvious. In Yi Zhushang's body, another force was rejecting her acupuncture treatment. Not only that, but that force was also stirring the spirit energy in Yi Zhushang's body wantonly, making it even more chaotic. In such a situation, the difficulty of Zhu Fengxin's acupuncture increased tremendously. She was unable to even insert the needle. When Yi Zhushang saw Zhu Fengxin struggling, his heart ached. He held her hand and prevented her from exhausting herself further with the needles. Smiling gently, he said, it's useless. With your skills, you can't resist that force at all. But if you don't suppress the chaotic spiritual energy in your body, you will die soon. Su Fengxin was anxious, even more so than Yi Zhushang himself. With you around, I won't die, huh? 